the minority side in parliament has given government a three-day ultimatum to immediately evacuate Ghanaian students over there. On Monday, some 103 died in the Hubei province alone, a daily record, and the national death toll is now 1,016, the World Health Organization reported on the novel coronavirus. New infections are shooting up. There's been many evacuations of nationals of some countries, including Africans. The minority in parliament says government's adamant posture to evacuate Ghanaians is incomprehensible. Their demand is clear. We have discussed as a minority and the leadership of the minority caucus have asked that we give a three-day ultimatum to the Akufuado government that they have three days between now, latest by Friday, the evacuation of our Ghanaian nationals, particularly students, should take place. And these students should be brought to be with us. We have had instances that the minorities issued a lot of ultimatums and the days elapsed. Uh, we haven't seen you do anything necessarily about it. What about this is going to change? You can be rest assured that this is a humanitarian crisis. Uh, lives are at stake. We will take actions. You do know that as per our standing orders, as per the constitution of Ghana, there are a number of legal options available to us. Be rest assured that if government refuses to act within the three-day ultimatum, we will move to the next step. Many health experts have questioned the country's preparedness to quarantine returnees from China if government decides to evacuate them. The problem here is the attempt by the government to reinvent the wheels. Because you all recall that when the Ebola issue cropped up, we had isolation centers in this country. We even became the distribution hub. And we had the opportunity to train our health professionals to deal with issues of this nature. So it's a matter of reactivating the system. So I am convinced that we have the structures but they are deliberately refusing to activate their strategies. Meanwhile, Ghanaian students in Wuhan have cautioned health authorities in Ghana to stop considering them as having contracted the novel coronavirus and evacuate them back home. Speaking on Skype last night on News at 10, NUC's vice president in Wuhan, Michael Adani, said none of the African students evacuated by other countries have the virus. We welcome the call by the minority, even though we resist attempt for this matter to be politicized. Um, we, it is a step that is commendable. Most of our members who were feeling disappointed, rejected, and abandoned by the government of Ghana for its uh, um, silence on the matter are now all of a sudden becoming hopeful again. Hmm. Because as we speak right now, daily infections are on the rise, and Wuhan has been declared a cold red zone meaning the city is regarded as a highly contagious um, environment. So the panic is all, uh, fear and panic is now in the system. Just two days ago, we had a meeting where the ambassador proposed that he considering giving us 500 USD per person, but we have outrightly rejected it. We don't need money. We've made it clear. What, what, what is money to us when our lives are at stake? Mm. We, 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 our, we, we came here to study so that we can come home and contribute to nation building. And as citizens of Ghana, it is our constitutional right that our government should put our welfare and interest as the uh, priority in this mm. issue. And we also want to caution the Ghana Health Service, the Minister of Health, they should stop treating us as if we are the virus. We are not the virus, I can say on authority that none of our people or citizens here have been infected. Hmm. We are not the virus, though they should stop talking as if when they evacuate us, we, they are importing the virus. Hmm. I can say on record that all the countries that have evacuated their people from Africa, none of them has recorded a, a case whereby one of the evacuees hmm. um, has been tested positive. I can say uh, uh, on record, I don't want to mention the universities, 
but there are universities that have recorded more than 74 cases over the past week. Hmm. So the more we stay here, the more prone we are to the virus. Hmm. And the, now that they are converting university facilities as quarantine centers, our vulnerability of getting the infection is on the rise. So our life are at stake here. This is a matter of life and death. And we yeah. want our government to treat it with the agency that it deserves. Let's stay on this development and speak to Frank Anodompre. He is the Chairman of Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, too. Now, despite persistent calls by Ghanaian students in China, they still haven't been evacuated. Is it not high time they, we, we brought them back home? Well, I, I think that, uh, first of all, there are things I cannot say on authority uh, because uh, we, have a, we have a sector minister and we have professionals who are mandated to handle such matter. But as a public um, officer and our committee also being concerned, we, we also need to uh, be aware and also express misgivings about what is happening. It, it's a worrying phenomenon. Um, and as I listen to the student as he recounts the, the difficulties they are going through, nobody wants to go through that. But we also need to be also cautious that the countries that have been successful in terms of their ability to evacuate their, their nationals have gone through a number of procedures. So uh, at this material time, we can only um, urge the sector minister to hasten uh, and to facilitate all effort towards ensuring that the, the students are evacuated as soon as possible. But, but having said that, I still want to urge them that they have to put in there are, there are regulations and measures that the WHO has prescribed in such um, circumstances and how they, they should be able to conduct ourselves as a country. So uh, we shouldn't compromise on that. That I don't think we should compromise on, regardless of the fact that no student or no Ghani has been, you have been infected. It's still, it's still important that we don't uh, compromise on the procedures that are involved. So in their, in their bid to respect the procedures and to ensure that the necessary quarantine procedures are respected, we still think that lives are important, they are equally Ghanaian, their welfare is important, and we urge them. But it's also fair to say that, don't forget, the, the, the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration and the Minister himself have, both of them have visited Parliament, they've apprised members of Parliament, I mean the people's representatives on measures being put in place at our borders to contain uh, any situation if the need arise, that has been done. And so one has to be fair. It's not like it is more of, um, I mean the, the authorities have just turned their blind eye to the situation and they're just, uh, you know, going about their normal duty. It is not like that. I am aware of very important meetings uh, that are ongoing, but as I said and indicated, I can't speak with the limitations as a, just a member of parliament and a committee chair. There are very uh, significant information that I cannot or I'm not in position to be able to divulge and also to make available. So this is the limitations uh, within which we operate, and we can only urge them that within the shortest possible time, we have been informed that the president has shown concern, he has directed, he's giving some directives, some actions have been put in motion. So all of us need to respect the times and also ensure that um, whoever has the mandate to do what is needful to, to, to guarantee a situation where evacuating the, the, the students back home will not, will not lead to any uh, situation at all. It's, it's respected and it's done. Oh. But I'm very confident that in a few days ahead of us, I'm sure that uh, the authorities will do the needful. Does this suggest that we do not have the capacity to contain them or to quarantine them when they come back? No, I, I'm not, I haven't said that, but I'm saying that any country, for instance, Morocco, I'm aware of Morocco, the United Kingdom, a number of countries who have uh, successfully evacuated their students and their, some of their nationals, they've gone, they've gone through a number of procedures in, as 
as an attempt to prepare, you know, the grounds for them to, 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 to be evacuated. And I'm saying that uh, as I speak with you, I'm not too sure if we've been able to do that. And as of the last time we engaged uh, at our level, we are told these procedures have been put in motion. And so I am urging that we, we, we facilitate and hasten it so that we can we can do the needful that is what i'm saying i'm not i'm not an authority in this health issues to be able to say with authority that yes we have a limitation and therefore we have difficulty we are unable to host them or not that's not what i'm saying at all far from that thank you very much for your time and frank anodon press chairman of the foreign affairs committee of parliament